Reet lads and lasses, welcome back to the channel. Wow, my first ever video coming back from the San Siro. What an experience that was. But one thing that stood out with me in that game was Alexander Risak. Not for the greatest reasons, and it wasn't his fault personally. But where is the support for Alexander Risak? I mean, this man can create anything out of nothing. We've seen that against Everton. What a fantastic run that was. What a fantastic assist. This man isn't getting the support he needs whatsoever. Like, I'm not saying any balls crossed into him. He's not getting any service. He's not getting great service, shall we say. And no one stands out to actually be giving him it. Yes, last season we've seen Bruno. He likes them first-time passes and he chips it over the top. We haven't seen that too much this season. Gordon on the left-hand side. Um, yeah, do you know what? Gordon is probably the most supportive, if you can call him that. He's registered one assist this season already. Comes in that left-hand side. Whips it straight in the box with his left foot. Gordon is okay with support, but one man that stands out to me with the support issue is Miguel Almiron. He offers absolutely nothing in support-wise, right? And I hate slating our players. I hate having a bad word to say about them, but he, he doesn't offer anything as supporting-wise. He'll get the ball on the right-hand side, and instead of just driving with it and whipping it in with his right foot, he doesn't have a right foot. So he has to cut back, and when he cuts back and just shoots it on his left... All of their team comes back. It, it, it doesn't give us any chance to breathe whatsoever. It, if he had a right foot, it would be fantastic. Because he's got a bit of pace about him as well. Drive down that right-hand side. First time in the box. But no, he has to cut back. And then he'll pass it on. And Kieran Tripp, I'll get it on the right-hand side. It's not great whatsoever. And this isn't just about Alexander Isak not finishing. Because we've seen when he gets the chances, he's finishing. He's a fantastic goal scorer. Well, that season at Real Sociedad he had was a bit off. But th there's there's many reasons for that, lads. We're seeing against Liverpool last season. He took that goal absolutely fantastic. The second one, which should have counted, he took that fantastic. He just is a fantastic goal scorer. Not a natural born goal scorer as of yet. I mean, it is his birthday. He's 24 years old. He's still got time to develop. But... He he, it goes back to that. He needs the chances to score. For Sweden, one shot on target from a cross which is provided from the left-hand side. Header, straight in the back of the net. Against Aston Villa, he got supported three times, three shots on target, two goals. If he gets the chances, he's scoring, lads. Now, of course, we've seen Alexander Isak play for Real Sociedad. That is where we signed him from. 17 million euros, a club record fee. Before that, I think it was Dortmund, then AIK, or somewhere in the Eredivisie... Um, I'm pretty sure it was like William I. I probably should have done my research on that, but I do believe it was them. He had a very good goal scoring record in the Eredivisie. I mean, of course he should, even though he's a goal scoring talent and he was pretty young at the time as well. Real Sociedad, that's where it really, really peaked for him. And he took his chances very well there. 34 games played, 17 goals with a couple of assists as well. That's in his best season for Real Sociedad, just in one singular season. Uh, it just, it baffles me. Why is he not getting the support? It kind of reminds me of when Joel Linton used to play as a striker under Steve Bruce. He's just whacked up there on his own and he's not getting the support. And I have a feeling that it's going to start to tumble on him personally when really it should be players that aren't giving him the support. Now, of course, I'm not just saying, oh, the wingers make it all about Alexander Rysak. No, they are there to do their bit as well. They're there to graft defensively and attackingly as well. And yet again, I'm not saying all oh, make it about Alexander Rysak. He's the main man. Get it to him. Basically, it is. But the wingers can't revolve themselves around him. But you do have to do your job and get it to Alexander Rysak. He is the goal scorer. He is the man that's going to strive us on to that next level. We've already spoken about Gordon and Miggy. It's time to speak about the other wingers. Harvey Barnes. We haven't seen the most of them so far. I think he's more of a threatening goal scorer than an actual provider. Uh, of course, he's a winger. He has racked up many, many assists for Leicester City. And I do believe he can get that ball to Alexander Isak. There was two times which stood up to me against Aston Villa. Uh, I think one, he was a bit too selfish and should have passed it to Wilson. But then there was another time where he was unselfish and took it on himself. Uh, uh, sorry, he passed it to Wilson instead of taking it on himself. Uh, Yet again, I think Barnes is more of that cutting in and from the left-hand side, shoot with his right and scoring bangers. Whereas Jacob Murphy, we haven't spoke about. Yes, he might not be the most fantastic or spectacular name yet. Jacob Murphy, he's been here pre-regime, but he's a he's got a fantastic cross on him. Like he, he is a very, very good deliverer of the ball. And he can get them crosses in Alexander Isak. He, he, he is a good provider. That's what we'll call him. He's a very, very good provider. His crosses are so underrated. I think he could be the man who's very unselfish he's got a great pace about him he can get back defensively fast and he can strive that ball forward to Alexander Rysak and let's be real he is the talisman in our team but not as of yet but he needs to be the man we need to make Alexander Rysak not this fantasy player we need to make him this absolute goal scorer who teams are just terrified of the next Latan Ibrahimovic but even more terrifying 
Something I believe that we've missed out in the summer transfer window is, is a right winger who can just get that ball at Alexander Isak. And one man that stands out in particular for me, who was a fantastic right winger and he's hit the ground running at Aston Villa, it is Moussa Diaby. Of course, he scored against with four goals and assists this season. Uh, two goals, two assists, evenly shared. He, I know Aston Villa plays so narrow, but it just does feel like we've missed out on him. And he really could have just been whipping them in for Alexander Isak. Yet again, on the right-hand side, he hasn't got the best right foot, but he's just absolutely electrifying. And he probably could do a better job than Miggy. I mean, of course he could do a better job than Miggy. That's not me slating Miggy. It's just, it's proven he is a much better footballer. I didn't want to go into too much harshness in this video, but do you believe that we do need someone? And who is that player that's going to be the man to get that ball at Isak? It needs to be someone and it needs to be sorted out. This man is a fantastic footballer and let's not put that to waste. But if you did enjoy this video, let me know down below who you believe that person is. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. Daily content is coming around here. I've got so much plan for you. Thank you very much. See you later.